dog won't let me go on the swings, but Clint Reed does, does it. He'll um, start barking. Rocco was diagnosed at age three with um, autism, and he... <laughs> Autism spectrum disorder is a, a spectrum, but one of the things that you see across the spectrum is a difficulty with social interaction. He has a hard time interacting with people normally. People that he's close to, it's easy, but people that he's not close to, it seems a little awkward at times. I'm so happy to finally meet you. I am so excited about being friends. Let's pick up from where we left last time. Move each item into its proper box. Robots are the perfect combination. They're social enough to get people to respond to them, but they're not too social that they provoke any kind of anxiety. From watching the robot and interacting with a robot when he was guilty or when he was sad or when he was happy, that really engaged him. And it made him, I think, connect the dots. Thanks for helping me. We're expecting to see some improvement of these skills, things like making eye contact, or taking turns, or being able to take someone's perspective in a conversation. I think we'll make lots of great memories together over the next four weeks. Each day I will have some games to play. I'm really excited to play. Which game would you like to play first today? The children are showing improved performance across the board, and that's what we're really looking forward to. His interactions became more consistent, and his eye contact became more consi consistent. It really just showed me how bright he is and how quick he is. No, you have I to mean, look away. Sarah, it's your turn to look away while Rocco is building the rocket. It gave him, it gave us um, time together to kind of to learn about each other, really. He's a lot of fun, and this really brought out really good qualities for him.